Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're gonna be playing the lowest skill deck to ever enter the Clash Royale arena. We have Giant Graveyard. Somehow this deck is now probably the best in the game, maybe alongside Goblin Trill. And it's so easy to play, I have no idea how to play Giant Graveyard. I never play it, but I think we're gonna do pretty good today. We'll see. Okay, I'll just go in for the Night Witch Giant. And we'll see how this works out. Okay, E-Drag will kind of counter us here. Hopefully our Night Witch is able to spawn more bats. Okay, this is kind of bad. Honestly, maybe that wasn't the smartest play. <laughs> I just like being aggressive though. It kind of pays off, usually. Okay, I think he has E-Golem. Yeah, there it is. We have to bowler, but E-Drag may end our career. Unless our bats kill it quickly. Oh no, we're so dead. We can't do anything. Okay, I take it back, guys. Maybe this deck is higher skill than I thought. <laughs> Probably not, but too high skill for me to play, apparently. <laughs> I'm just going to lone graveyard. Hope something happens with it. Okay, we just have to pressure this side. He wasted a lot of elixirs, so I'm not sure if he's going to be able to stop this and our little prince, too. I do want to try to get our ability off here with our little prince. Okay, this might actually be tower down. I think he messed up by overcommitting with the bomber and stuff on our graveyard. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're actually winning somehow. I guess that was a big brain play overall by me. Not exactly sure what just happened, but we're doing pretty good. Little Prince will get some nice damage onto the king tower. We could maybe even go for a three crown. <laughs> okay, we're looking pretty good. Yeah, as I was saying, this deck is no skill. It's very easy to play. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to go in here and 3-crown him. Just take him out of his misery. That's pretty much the reason we're being aggressive. You know what, guys? We have the entire US Army charging straight towards our tower. Oh wait, I guess we're actually okay. <laughs> Somehow we're defending. Also, Bowler's going to be beautiful here on defense. This E-Drag is not dying, though, so I'm just going to go in and forget about defense. <laughs> Hopefully this works out and we don't get 3 crowned. Okay, our Cannoneer is on the E-Drag, luckily. Okay. And Night Witch is going for the King Tower, so our Graveyard may also just take it. Wait, hold up. Do we just 3 crown? Him? Oh, I, th I think so. Yeah. Easy win. It's Jonah from the Bible. He was swallowed by a whale, but soon after, and he's already on Clash Rail. Okay, it's Goblin Drill. I'll go for the Bowler. Bomber shouldn't splash our tower. <laughs> I love the Bowler interaction versus Drill. It's so nice how it always kills that first Goblin so easily. I'm gonna just go in. Graveyard will tank for the Bowler. Oh, why does he have Mother Witch? They never have Mother Witch normally. <laughs> I think this might be game over, guys, unless our little prince can somehow defend everything. We have to arrows here onto the guards. They get way too much damage against Cannoneer. I'm gonna zap here on the ghost. Okay, we're somehow alive. Luckily. Oh, I think the Mother Witch won't die. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> I spoke a bit too soon. I don't know why he has Mother Witch. They normally never do. But I'll be honest with you guys, even if they do have Mother Witch, it's not game over because Evo Zap does fully kill it. But man, I didn't expect it. They normally never have it. We just have to try to build up a push here and somehow do something. Oh, he does have Tesla too. If they have no building, it's a lot easier. And no Mother Witch, of course, makes it easier. Have to bats. So much damage for him. We do have our Evo Zap though, so I'm going to go ahead and go in for the graveyard. Okay, we can just take out this Mother Witch. He has poison too though. Man, this guy does not like graveyard very much. Will be some giant damage, but not really much. Maybe our Mother Witch could go crazy though. I mean our Night Witch. I always confuse the two. Wait, this is still pretty good. Can we get our ability off in time? Okay. That's going straight to the tower. <laughs> Wait. Tower down. He called the early good game, but it's not over yet, guys. Okay, I'm going to go in for the bowler. 
Hopefully it kills the drill. Okay. Kind of a wasted Evo Zap, I feel like. He will get some damage, though. We're still in a pretty bad spot. Have to Night Witch. Okay, that was a very bad Mother Witch. I think now it's our time to go in, guys. Graveyard and Giant the Pocket, the most broken combo. It's so hard to break through, though. I don't know, guys. I feel like we just have to pray that he makes a big mistake. He even has Zap for bats. Our bats here may get some damage, though, since he just wasted it. Okay, forcing out the guards. I don't know. Maybe once we get to the Evo Zap, we can get something going a bit better for ourselves. Wait, why would you drill straight into a bowler? Kind of arrows. <laughs> okay, that was... Not the best arrows. But. I guess we're alive. Okay, guys. We just have to go in. And try to do something. Okay. He has no Mother Witch, so he has to poison here on the graveyard, which is pretty good for us. Tesla is down. Mother Witch is dead. And we have a ton of bats on the field. I'm going to go in for the Evo bats. He's going to zap it. Yeah. But now our giant is pretty healthy on the tower. I can't believe we're still in this game. How are we not dead yet? <laughs> we were down like a whole tower and more, but now we are in the winning spot. This still will be pretty close, though. I'm just going to go in. I don't care. Going to bats here for defense. We will take some damage. Hopefully not too much, though. He's going to have to poison here on the graveyard. Hopefully we do get some RNG. He kind of wasted the Evo Zap. Oh, he might be dead. Guys, if we win this match... I can't believe it. I think we won. I think we won. Dude, I can't believe it. How did we just win this match? Most balanced giant graveyard game. It's Hunter. People always ask who would win if I faced Hunter. I'm gonna have to take myself on this one. <laughs> I know he's running Ice Bow. I think we do have a good matchup here, but I just am not nearly as good with giant graveyard as he is with Ice Bow. Well, at least he's been playing Ice Bow for a lot longer than I've been playing this deck. We'll see what happens, though. Also, guys, I do want to give a quick shout-out to my second channel, Extra EN77. I do stream Top Ladder there every single day. I'll have it linked in the description. I'll take the arrows here. Tesla might die. Yeah, perfect. So, this could be a little something. Maybe one giant smack. Not bad. I feel like Giant always gets a hit it doesn't deserve to get on the tower. Ever since that 1 HP buff a long time ago. Nice bowler. Don't know about that tornado. I feel like that was kind of bad by him. Kind of useless. That's a dead expo. Alright, not a bad start. He does have Princess Tower, so it's not going to be too easy to get damage here. So we have to make sure we don't take any damage from his expo. It's so nice having both Bowler and Giant, though. The one thing is that when he gets to the Evo Tesla, it could become a bit interesting. A bit dicey. I'm gonna Giant the back. Perfect timing. Don't really know about that Tesla by him. Kind of just wasted, I feel like. We should be able to take it out pretty easily, if we need to. Hopefully our push here doesn't get us into a bad spot. We have to Bowler. The thing is, we do also have Little Prince as a last resort against Expo. If you play the ability, it does pretty much fully counter Expo, no matter what they do. Unless they predict it with a tornado. Alright, should be just about a dead Ice Mage and everything. We do have our Evo Zap now, which will be pretty nice. No damage. Okay, we have to get some damage here now. We have our Evo Zap and everything, so pretty much the perfect setup. It would be so nice if we had Evo Bomber right now, but it's fine. Gonna Evo Zap, hopefully deal some damage to the Ice Mage. I mean, that's something. He may go in for an Expo soon, though, with his Evo Tesla. Okay, there's the Expo. I don't know why he's going same lane, though. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was a completely wasted tornado. But hey, that's good for us. Gonna graveyard. 
I don't know about that rocket. I guess it's okay for him, but not that good. Not too amazing. And also pretty lucky RNG, actually. Man, this is so easy. <laughs> I'm not even that stressed out. Beautiful bats to predict the Tesla. Normally when I'm facing an Expo deck, I get kind of stressed out. Unless I have a hard counter like some really good Earthquake deck, but I'm just chilling right now. We can just go in. Oh, he missed the little prince. <laughs> Man, this is so easy. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just playing cards and, um, you know, just hoping for the best. And I'm always getting the best interactions with these broken cards. <laughs> Man, I love this. Okay. Yeah, this will all die pretty easily. I mean, to be fair... The Ice Boat players can't be too upset because Expo is pretty boosted this season too. But not nearly as much as Giant Graveyard, I'll admit that. Evo Zap will be so nice here, you can't really do too much about it. <laughs> bowler, bowler, bowler. Okay, not quite on tower, but it's fine. We can just Giant the bridge, he has no way to kill it. Or maybe he does, but I feel like we should be okay still. We can just go in for the little prince ability. Expo's already pretty much dead. Guys, the one thing I've noticed though is that it's very easy to activate your king tower against a bowler using Tesla. Maybe if Hunter did that, he would have had a better chance. Oh, he messed up the tornado. Let's go. I don't blame him though. He has no other chance to really win this matchup. We do have our Evo Zap back already, so yeah, I think he has no chance. Looks like he's already giving up. All right. I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against Bob. If you guys don't remember, in one of my previous videos, this guy forgot his name, so I decided to name him Bob. Pretty nice name. Man, I'm having a great day today, guys. I hope you're also having a great day. Even if things aren't going too well for you in your life, or you're just down in the dumps, hope it gets better for you. There's always something to be positive about in life. No matter how bad your circumstances are, there's always something that you can see positively. I mean, even in the worst things, you can find a positive in them. Hope you guys all do that. Okay, I'm going to go in for the graveyard. My positive today is just spamming giant graveyard and having a good time with you guys. <laughs> also had a great time with my sister-in-law and brother. We just enjoyed some time together. Had a little movie night together with pizza and stuff. <laughs> We're looking so good right now. I just love this game. <laughs> I think this is a mirror matchup actually. Except he does have archers. He has to respond. Okay. I'm gonna night witch the back. Anything could happen. I never played the mirror matchup with this deck. Pretty much ever so... I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go. I'm just going to giant here. I just want to take his tower. I feel like he can't defend no matter what he does. Giant should honestly take tower unless he does something crazy. Don't really know why he's trying so hard to defend. I'll just little prince the back. Yeah, I think it's already over. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!